This is the case of a 58-year-old patient who rapidly developed progressive paraparesis associated with double incontinence. On an MRI of the spine, it was seen that he had significant edema at the conus associated with flow voids within the spinal canal. The patient was in the supine position under general anesthesia with electrodes for SCPs and motor evoke potentials. A six-strand sheet was placed in the right femoral artery and a Cobra II catheter is navigated from the groin to the fistulous point. We perform a complete spinal angiogram until the point where we identify the fistula coming from the L1. This is an AP projection where the Cobra II catheter was used to perform the injection all the way to the L1 radicular artery on the left side. This shows a typical case of a dorsal or tiovenous fistula with significant venous tortuosity inside the spinal canal. This is an unsubstracted view of an Echelon 10 microcatheter navigated within the Cobra II catheter. We have a synchro wire that helps navigate in the Echelon catheter from the arterial feeder through the fistula into the venous pouch. After flushing the catheter with saline and after that with DMSO, Onyx 18 is injected directly into the fistula. The goal was to occlude the fistula point and in a retrograde fashion deploy Onyx within the arterial system. Onyx is deployed while obtaining excellent penetration into the proximal connecting vein. At this point, an angiogram was performed from the guide catheter showing no evidence of early venous drainage. The microcatheter was removed without complications. There were no changes during neurophysiological monitoring. The patient is able to be discharged from the hospital ambulatory. He, one day after the embolization, the patient is ambulatory in the intensive care unit and is transferred to a rehab facility for further rehabilitation. Six weeks post video, patient was discharged from rehab, still requiring self-catheterization, walking out of the rehab. At 14 months, he continues to improve, does not require catheterization, he voids spontaneously, and he improves his sacral sensation. At 41 months, he's stable clinically. The MRI does not show any evidence of flow voids in the spinal canal.